Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Pitbull's Garage. Today we look like we uh test driving Beamer M4 to be exact. 2018 just came off lease. Uh sorry for the wind, but let's take a look quick look at it. It's 18, it's got around 20,000 miles. Give you my first impressions. First impressions of of the car. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. Take a look on the inside. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know a lot of these cars are coming off lease now, especially the refresh design, which happened in 2017, where they updated the headlights and taillights. Also on the seats, they did, on the 14 to 16 it just said m and now they said m4 then you do get an updated i drive overall it has 425 horsepower 406 torque and that's been from 14 to the newer model 2020 but i would say if you're using a market for one stick for around the 2017s and up and the reason i do say that is because 14 15 16 is getting all the bugs worked out this one it still has its warranty and they add an extra warrant uh extra year onto it so it is a bmw certified They're asking around 50 50k and some change so if you're in a market for one i would say now is the best time to buy one it has a heads up display as you can see so it's a very nice laid out car if you're looking for something that's luxury and sport this would be the car for you you have the different sport buttons right here that you can uh, push traction on steering and then you can program them here on your m1 and 2 so so you like traction on and sport it's at uh sport mode you can set it just at uh m1 so then have to go down there pushing two buttons just to make it make life a little bit easier now for driving impressions it's supposed to do zero to 60 around 4.1 i've seen times low as 3.9 seconds quarter mile around 12 1. so it ain't numbers to shy away from it ain't, you ain't gonna be like a the new c8 vet territory but that's pretty good for looking for a nice daily driver turbos lined up pretty good very very impressed overall so far i think it's a very awesome car it has the carbon fiber it does uh if you don't know 2014 to current they do have the carbon fiber drive shaft if you get one with a sunroof you don't have the carbon roof so you do lose that it is a little bit more extra weight um other than that I have it to me right now is a better buy because they've been going around 45 to 50 55 somewhere in there it's not the 70 80 thousand they are new and most of them around 20 thousand 15 thousand miles they're coming off lease so if you're in the market for one i would definitely highly go go look at one and like i was saying and they still have the warranty so you can't beat that you don't want to have a bmw without a warranty and not not bashing on BMW or anything like that, but the electronics are a little bit more on the expensive end. Also, one of the turbos might go out. I'm saying that I haven't heard anything like that, but you always want to be better prepared. So the warranty is always a nice little cushion to have. So I will highly suggest looking up, at, like I was saying, the 2017s and up just for that because it is fresh and most of them still have the factory warranty and just like the bmw uh, dealership i am at they're giving you an extra year on top of the factory so you basically this is 18 so you may be only, well, only losing a year so you can't beat that so there you have it there's my impressions on a m4 uh, it's a great car especially now that like i was saying they're getting into the used market these still still have the warranties and i would say it's something something to look into if you're in the market or for a nice sports sedan if you do have family i would probably suggest m3 
but other than that you can't beat that 425 horsepower 406 pound feet of torque on 40 to 50k all right thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos peace